What's happening, everyone? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and it's time for another Total Chaos, the show where I take two expert handicappers and pit them head-to-head. -head. I'm giving them three college basketball games that are happening on Tuesday, January the 17th. They're going to tell me if they're going over or under the total, and whoever gets the most correct comes back next week as the champ. Scott Reichel, it's been a while since I've seen you in the Total Chaos ring. How do you feel about being back? That feels good until I saw my record. I didn't even remember what it was, to be honest. It's been several months, but apparently I'm four under. Didn't even know. So nice to be back. All right. Well, so you have some work to do, basically. You've just yes, I don't I don't remember any of the work that I did previously, but I'm looking forward <laughs> to continuing where I left off. All right. Well, no worries there. Another guy I haven't seen in a while, Chip Chirimbus. You are number one on the picks and parlays leaderboards right now. Haven't seen you in a while. How how does it feel to be back in the ring? I love it. You know, Ali, I catch you for that free pick every what, every Wednesday. No, every Friday, Friday. or Saturday. Yes. And uh, this is always uh, something special. Yes, indeed. Well, I'm excited about this. So we're going to kick things right off. Scott Reichel, you're going to go first. And we're going to do Kansas at Kansas State. 146 and a half is your number over or under. So I'm going to go with the over in this one. Both teams have been kind of elite offensively this season. Kansas ranks 13th in offensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm. Kansas State ranks 37th. Both teams also play fast. Main change Kansas State has had with the new coach is playing a lot faster. Kansas State ranks 72nd in pace. Kansas ranks 115th. And the over is 20-8 and eight in Kansas, uh, Kansas State's last 28 games. This number seems a little bit low to me. I think this game gets into the 150s. I'll take the over. Okay, Mr. Cherembus, do you agree or disagree? Well, you know, I do agree, but usually we have conference games like this in the past. You know, you'd go to the under when these two team type of teams would be playing. But, you know, the game has changed so much now. with teams throwing 48 three-pointers up every day, and, and these are two great offensive clubs, Kansas State like and Kansas. They're both coming off point spread losses, and they react pretty well to the um, – after a loss straight up for Kansas State and for Kansas, who didn't cover last time out, I think this game goes over the totals. I think there's just too much offensive firepower. There's great stats on both these sides. Kansas State is 20 and 8 and over in their last 28 overall. And we can go on and on with these, these kind of trends. But the tempo and the idea of the way these two teams can shoot, I think, sends it over. And usually, traditionally, if you've got Kansas and Kansas State playing, I mean, my God, the states are so happy. Darcy and Toto are coming back. But I'm telling you right now, this game's got to go over the total. All right. Well, how do you feel about – and these two teams don't like each other. This should be a shootout. I'm excited to watch that one. What do you think about number four, Alabama, at Vanderbilt? It's a 155-and-a-half, Chip. Well, this Alabama team plays great defense, and um, they really put pressure on people. That defense – Causes baskets in transition. They have a lot of fast break points, and they're excellent, outrageous shooters. This is the best Alabama basketball team I've seen in my lifetime because usually, you know, it's just on the gridiron with them. So uh, I'm going to play it over again. I mean, uh, Vanderbilt, I don't think, uh, is going to be able to measure up with this team here. And I, I see a high-scoring game on at least Alabama's side. All right. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Um, Rachel, what do you got on this one? I have the over as well. Uh, Alabama does rank 12th in offensive rating. Uh, Vanderbilt ranks 50th, according to Ken Palm. Alabama, fourth in pace. This team just loves to run, and I think you'll end up seeing a pretty up-tempo game as a result. For some trends here, the over is 13-4-1 in Bama's last 18 road games, and the over is 24-9-1 in Vanderbilt's last 34. Tells me Vanderbilt's total has been mispriced for about a season and a half now. I think this line, even though it might seem high, not high enough. I think Bama might score close to 90 in this game, potentially, because Vandy defensively is really not good at all. I like the over. I think I think that Vandy does enough to help Bama send this over the total. I refuse to fade Alabama again. I had Arkansas over Bama, thinking Bama was in a letdown spot and Arkansas is in a get-right spot. And holy shnikes, was I wrong. Okie doke. Um, roll Tide. Okay, Rachel, keep us rolling with Penn State at Wisconsin, 129 and a half. Last one for the round. So I went to Wisconsin for college, and nothing That's much has changed. This team is like watching paint dry offensively. I'm on the under. It's painful to watch this team play. Uh, they rank 24th in defense efficiency. Penn State ranks 75th. They've been awful lately, but Wall, their best player, is supposed to be back in this game. So just keep an eye on that. But you're looking at the pace, and Wisconsin, shockingly, is towards the way, way bottom. Uh, Wisconsin ranks 338th in pace. Penn State ranks 285th. Uh, the You're just looking at these teams and how good they played defensively 
and how slow they play. I see a rock fight played in the half court. I'm not sure either team even gets to like 62 in this game. I'm going with the under. I think it's going to be a hideous game of basketball. Maybe we take some team totals under also. What do you think about it, Chip? I think great minds think alike. There's no other way to play this Wisconsin team. I mean, they've been an under for the last 20 years. Um, it's their methodical play and their style. And this year, they're having one of their poorer seasons shooting the ball. They're not scoring. Now, Penn State, you might think in being part of that uh, Big Ten and, and that big undercard has gone over the last four games and six of the last seven. And one of the reasons, like I said, the transformation in basketball now since the three-pointer has been um, you know, instituted in Penn State has taken 100 more three-point attempts than any other team in the nation. They throw them up 48 a game, and they just keep shooting them. Um, that worries me about the game possibly going over, but I suspect the Badgers' defense to shore up on the three-point shot. And I think this game stays under. I have to agree once again. So uh, I can't see Wisconsin um, changing. It's just not their style. I mean, they come down, they're going to be methodical. And this year, they just don't have that kind of offensive firepower that they've had in the past. Under. Doesn't their coach look like Beavis? Their co- Wisconsin's coach looks just like Beavis. You think to Greg me. Gard looks like Beavis? Really? Yeah, that's, that's, like that's a pretty Beavis. random call. Okay. Totally. <laughs> sure. Every time I see him out there. <laughs> um. Okay, so you guys agreed on everything. We're going to need a tiebreaker. So, what is your number one favorite pick out of those three? Um, shit. Um. I'd have to say the K-State-Kansas game. I mean, that's it's going to be one of the more exciting ones to watch, so I might as well be rooting for it to go over. There you go. All right, Rachel, what do you think? What's your that was, favorite? That was going to be my favorite, but, of course, we got to break it somehow, so I'll go with Wisconsin under. Wisconsin under. Okay. All right, beautiful. So that's how we're doing it. If you, I spelled Wisconsin wrong, but we're all going to live long, happy lives in spite of it. Um, so just in case anyone's wondering where to find some premium plays, check out Chip Chirimbus. He's number one yesterday over at picksandparlays.net. Head to picksandparlays.net. Use our promo code NFL. Save yourself 20% off at checkout. And if you're looking for Scott Reichel, find him at Reichel Radio over on Twitter. Tons and tons of free picks out of this guy every single day day. Also catch him on my Morningwood show this Friday and every Monday through Thursday for our primetime prop drop. Don't forget about my Caesars Sportsbook promo code Woodful. And if you're looking for me, I'm at Plus Money Honey. All right, guys. Thank you. That was a fun one. Like I always say, may the best capper win.